All right, as you can see on the screen, when I click on the center point of the column, the CAD reader is gonna extract the X, Y, or maybe you can say the coordinates update point. You can say the center points coordinates. This is pretty nice thing, okay? Why actually we need these coordinates? Of course, we may need to set out these columns on site. And of course, for total station, this data is gonna be required. Now, if you remember previously on Engineer Boy, we have learned how to determine the area of an irregular shape using CAD Reader. Of course, I don't have AutoCAD installed in my computer. This is why I'm using CAD Reader because CAD Reader can read DWG file for you, okay? Now, let me just close this thing. And of course, you already know you can run the CAD Reader just by clicking double click or maybe right click and then click open. Now, of course, I'm gonna open and then open files. And that's gonna navigate you to the same dialog box, select drawings. And of course, I have that drawing on the desktop. So I'm gonna specify that and then click open. As you can see, this data, and of course, you can say the previous data that's been already saved in the same drawing. This is what I really like about CAD Reader. Let me just show you how we can use this functionality or command of the CAD Reader to extract the X, Y of each column center. Does not matter if it's column or maybe any other thing, like maybe pile, pure, etc. Now, I need to determine the coordinate of each center. Okay, you can say the coordinates. Of course, you can click on the measure tab. And of course, this is a measure dialog box. We have a bunch of things available over here. And of course, there is a tab known by the coordinate. I'm gonna click that. Now, if you don't know what to do, CADRID is gonna tell you. Left click to choose coordinate point. It means you can specify the point by the left click. Let me just click on the center point of this column. This is, you can say, a, an isolated footing. So I'm gonna click over here. Now, a dialog box appeared. And of course, this is the word coordinate system. Does not matter if it's user coordinate system, no problem, okay? It works the same thing. Now, I'm gonna click OK, and as you can see, this is gonna extract the X, Y. You can click somewhere, as you can see, right click to exit, okay? But I don't wanna right click over here. I'm gonna click the left again, because I wanna place those labels over there, okay? Now, again, I'm gonna click this point. Pretty cool. This is gonna extract the coordinates, or maybe you can say the X, Y, or maybe you can say the north and easting of each column. Pretty simple thing, you can see that. Now it's not about the column. You can use this functionality to determine the coordinates of any point. What you have to do is just to specify that point, okay, by clicking, okay, that's a very simple thing. And let's just say, if I have to determine the coordinates of each corner of the same column, you can see that, okay. And these information are very necessary, okay? Let's say if you are a surveyor and you have to sit out the, this, the same column on the side, you are required to just input these videos, okay, for the sit out. This is pretty simple. See you in the next video.